Good morning and welcome back to the channel and to this tech video. So today I'm thinking about sunglasses and more importantly which sunglasses to choose. I've had these Oakleys for probably about five years now and they're getting a bit tatty. I could replace them but the question is do I need to replace them with glasses that cost hundreds of pounds, literally 160, 180 pounds, or could I replace them with something like these? So these are Outdoor Master Hawk HD polarised, and lucky enough I've been sent these by the company to have a look at them and see what I think. So before we get into the ins and outs of the glasses, let's rewind a bit and see what they're like coming out the box. Okay, so let's unbox the Outdoor Master Hawk HD sunglasses. These retail for about $39.95 on their website. That's dollars, maybe about £35 plus shipping. Um, and compared to Oakley's, which could be 120 pounds, 130, 180 pounds for their newest models. You know, it's a massive saving. So it'd be interesting to see actually what's in the box and what sort of quality they are and how they um, come across when riding and whether they seem as good as maybe some higher brand glasses. So as you can see, or maybe able to see, the box is a little bit squashed it did get pretty squashed in the post so i was a bit worried that there might be some damage but luckily they do ship inside a hard case and the hard case is pretty firm it's very similar to the oakley one i've got on my oakley glasses so unzipping as you can see as you can see they are made in china so let's actually see what we've got in the bag. So they're quite well wrapped up. So in the bag we have got some clear lenses. So these are a spare pair of clear lenses. So if you're thinking of using them in low light or in winter when you might not need full protection, but protection from the wind and debris on the road, those would probably be a very good pair to use. In the bag, and as with most sunglasses nowadays, it comes in a soft bag, which can also be used as a glasses cleaner. So here we have the glasses and carefully wrapped arms. So there we can see Outdoor Master. So there we can see Outdoor Master HD. These are the HD lenses. Not sure if you can see exactly what sort of colour they are. They do come across close up or in the light. You can see they're quite iridescent, that sort of purpley, pink, red glow to them. They are very lightweight. I will weigh them in a minute. And actually putting them on, they do feel really light, really comfortable. And clarity is pretty good at the moment. It'll be interesting to see what they are like out on the road. So they do come with the just the sort of top mounted plastic. The nose piece is located there that's fixed to the main part of the frame, but you can, by the look of it, remove them. Yeah, so they're like a soft rubber nose piece. So the glasses themselves seem quite robust. The arms are quite bendy. There's a nice grippy pad on the inside. 
and they're quite sort of springy plastic I would suggest but on the whole they look quite nice okay so let's weigh them 32 grams so these are 32 grams I have got my Oakley's these are the Oakley Radar Path which I've been wearing for probably five or six years now and they are 28 grams so 29 grams so 29 32 so maybe three grams in it and as you can see these do have the sort of modern trend of being deeper glasses. The Oakleys are quite shallow compared to these. So these probably provide an extra seven, uh, an extra centimetre down the bottom of cover. So let's go out on the road, try them out and see how they compare to maybe a more premium brand. So now back out on the road with these glasses, what do I think? Well, one thing I like about them is they've got a nice large field of view and because the glasses are deeper, I tend not to notice that bottom edge of the glasses so much. So I can still see the bottom of the glasses, but it's not so maybe apparent. One thing that is a little bit more apparent is the nose piece I can see a little bit more than my other glasses but then once you're out on the road riding looking ahead it really does sort of disappear so as I said these are the Hawk HD polarized and they do cut down glare quite a lot they're not quite the same as the prism Oakley lenses which tend to sort of boost colours a bit. They are a more natural colour, I would say. But comfort-wise, they feel fine. Looking, as I said, the sun's out today or coming out and I'm not getting much glare from the sun. Colours are looking pretty natural. And they're feeling pretty good. The important thing to think about is these glasses as opposed to hundreds of pounds of the premium brand glasses are actually about $40, $39.95. And looking at the website, they've got quite a few models of glasses. And if you're on social media, you often see adverts for a plethora of glasses companies which are offering glasses for a similar amount. And the question is, do you need to pay four times the price for a pair of sunglasses? I guess with the more expensive brands you're getting a known quantity. It's probably easier to return them. These do come from China, although they are apparently sponsors of the snow sports team in the US with goggles and those sorts of things. So all in all, for the price, I think they are, well, seem to be a really good pair of sunglasses. I guess time will tell how robust they are and the longevity of the lenses and whether they scratch a bit more easily. But when you're looking at lenses that cost or glasses that cost a quarter of the price you know you can afford to change them probably every couple of years rather than maybe as I've done five or years or so with my Oakleys. What do you think? Have you got some of these glasses or similar sort of lower, uh, I wouldn't say spec but lower company spec maybe, lower brand and what do you think of them? We all know that often we pay an awful lot for glasses 
or anything just because it comes from one of the main brands if you are interested in getting a pair of these you can get a discount using the code forestvelo 10 and also there's a link down below to click on if you want to to look at anything else in their store that might be useful one thing to remember is that in the US shipping's fine in the UK there's only a certain number of glasses at the moment and items that can be shipped to the UK as you can see there's a uh, sportive going on here in the new forest at the moment there's not normally this many people riding Another thing I've uh, noticed is that I know some sunglasses don't sit well with helmets when they're low but with these there's plenty of space between the helmet they're not rattling against the helmet even though I have it quite low so that's good but drop down in the comments what you feel about the price of sunglasses and whether you need to get premium branded sunglasses I hope you enjoyed watching the video and found it useful if you did don't forget to click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bye for now